I can't tell you what it is. I can only tell you what it feels like. And right now it's a steel knife in my windpipe. I can't breathe, but I still fight. Hey guys, Shadow Lisp is just continuing your adventure. Last time we made the Mallet Island and we faced off with the Ultra Beast at our Aether Paradise. So, since we're here, let's go continue where we left off. We talked to Kapesha Kukui. And if you don't know, my name is Shine Larson, aka Shine Let's Plays. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and leave a comment down below if you like it. But anyway, I can get this guy. Oh! Okay. Cheyenne. If you wouldn't mind, I had to ask you something. Oh, Nibby, you could do it. says to to go to the ruins. Yep, I knew it. Yes, I want to take Nibby to Ulu Ulu ruins, but they located deep in the large desert. I don't want to ask too much of you. Right now, I'm planning to visit Mali Library. The books, there's a book that I want to look here, but maybe you'll be able to help me? I know a man library is right within the city of somewhere. Should I should even I should find it. I can't I can do this. Yeah. Okay. Talk to this guy. Got the creature. So now we got the creature, let's go. Cutscene. Uh oh. Professor? Oh goodness! Well, hello there, Rotan. It's finally nice to see Comfy that your Pokedex are yours. Never better, is it? <laughs> oh, hello there. Glad to meet you. I'm Oak. Samson Oak. I am a Pokemon researcher that came in. I'm looking into the religion villages around here and from around here. You must be Cheyenne, huh? For young Kiko, you mentioned you to me. Rotom, you should be sure to help this young boy run his trip around the islands, all right? Who do you think's talking? You're talking to Z? Of course I'm doing that. Oh, <laughs> a voice. And you, Cheyenne. I trust you to keep Rotom safe as well. I found that fellow, the fellow from Kalos. The young fellow from Kalos keep helping invent, invent the Pokedex. Put a lot of work into it. As well, love and care as a parent. Any perks. I'll be in Melly Library if you need me. Feel free to stop by and chat anytime. If you have any trouble with finding a library, just follow the Brittany Black Brick Road. <laughs> I think that's a mention from uh, Wizard of Oz or stuff like that. <laughs> they put it in there, it's kinda cool. <clears throat> mean meaning the patterns of the path, of course. Circle, black triangle, black square. Follow the pattern, you'll get there. I think that was a poem in there too. <laughs> And he's going into the stuff. Anyway, um, let's see. Do I have the black circle? Oh wait, I got my hair cut. Besides, it's almost winter anyway. I gotta change my clothing. The reason why I'm doing this seasonal wear wearing because this is summer, but I'm gonna change it to fall clothing. Uh, change clothes. I think there's a. I think there's a. Casualty? No. Casual strike tea? That's that's not good enough. Let's see. Um plain tea. Yeah, that's much better. And rib car caprice. Let's see. Ooh. Capris sound really cool, but I need like cargo, not cargo shorts, but pants. I need pants. Oh, there's the shorts in here for crying out loud. Jeez. Oh, uh, long shorts. Well, at least I got stuff I need, but... Ooh. There we go. Nice. But I'm thinking of getting a different air, different stuff. Um, cut, cut off jeans, yes. Light blue, I think? No, uh, blue. Just blue. It's much better. And actually, cut off jeans in black? Nice. So I think I'm good right now, but I gotta change my sunglasses. 
I better eat. Jeez, my Facebook's going crazy. Sorry about that noise. That was my Facebook. Um, hmm. Just crew socks, bro. Um, let's see. I don't think I need loafers right now. But I think I should try to find some shoes that will keep me warm around the windy winters. So I'm gonna use onyx sneakers. It's much better. Um, backpack. Um, hmm. Scout backpack? Do we have a scout? I already have a scout, don't I? Yep, I have a scout backpack. So leather would probably do good. Yep, leather backpack right here. That's good. Let's turn around. Uh, glasses. Um, I'm probably gonna get those off because I think it's almost time. Whoa, no, 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 no. I think it's almost time for me to get my stuff down. But I get a cap on. Much better that way. No, um, I think that's it. Let's change our clothing. I want to get rid of the sunglasses because it's like right now it's like September already. So, yeah. I mean, it's August 31st, but still. Um, let's see. Let's get out of here. So now that we got our like little fall clothing on right now, because, yeah, let's do it. Oh, Lily. Oh. Cheyenne, I'm sorry. I ended up lost again. again. I wonder if I completely lost until I ducked in, into the Pero shop. And when I saw an outfit, I said that was the last one they had in stock, so I bought it. Even though I don't think it'll have guts to outfit like that, huh? Huh. <sighs> but a woman working here told the store did tell me to find the library. So I guess I started the way the best. Though, the library is actually right past the apparel store, so I just kept going. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, eek! <laughs> ah, boo. Cheyenne, been a while, friend. Look like your uh, challenge is coming along favorably. That must be pleasing to, to the Tapu. Huh, so Cheyenne, who this might be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if Marcel spoke to you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial girl. What are you up to? <sighs> yeah, actually, I'm, I'm studying the Tapu ruins. For various reasons of my own. Ah, uh, <laughs> Well, that is interactive. I'd be happy to show you whenever you like to go. My mudsdale is hardy, sturdy, and I'll all get out. She is really easy to carry, too. She can really carry, too. Thank you for your offer. That's so cool. I really love the Pokemon series. There we go. And she's walking away with the tail covered in mud. Anyway, shall we check out my library, though, since we're here? Alright, the Melee Library. Library. The book I'm looking for is a very old one. This book is, contains the myths and legends the professor told me about. Those tales seem to suggest islands legendary Pokemon from another world. Hmm, that sounds interesting. And I believe there's a picture in one of these books somewhere. There's a book here somewhere that has... Nope, it's gone. That's only an Ultra Moon, isn't it? Oh well. Ultra Moon is okay. Or Ultra Sun. Which I'm gonna play, anyway. And then next Tuesday I'm gonna order my Xbox One, the terabyte, and then I'll start playing whatever the mo movie, whatever game is on there. And then after that one, I'll finish off with uh, just the sun. And then probably go into Pokemon more instead of going on the Xbox so much. Anyway, here we go. It must be the value of book. I'm not sure I'll be able to take out of the library. Huh? <coughs> I think I know her voice anymore. <coughs> mm. 
Well, isn't that cute? Looking. What are you looking for, princess? Give it a read. Uh, oh, of course. Well, title of Light of Lola. Oh, uh, just, um, let me read that loud, shall I? Empty. Stroke of thunder. Hole appearing that had to be none. A single beast appeared for a minute. It was called the Beast that Devoured the Sun. King of all befo bad before it, the beast shone the light like the sun. The guardian iron guardians fought against it. But in the end, the beast had won. Then the beast devoured the sun, shining light on the on Lionel Kings. Then I, the beast had won. Nature gift blessing blessed all things. Beast of the sun and beast of the moon. There, through their union, the beast brought new life. A fragile heir to in the Alola born. The island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient king sang their thanks to Sun Galeo in the song flute. Song of flute. Two tones rang out across the altar, perfect pair, every after ever after mute. Alright. <laughs> Isn't that great? My dad's book are all great. What do you mean? That you mean, yes, it is, but do you say your father? Isn't this book you're very old? <laughs> yeah, it belonged to my dad. I knew it looked like it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I have to, well, I had to have my dad's books moved here. So they could ruin by po by the Pokemon. I can tell you a lot of other stories about Lola too. Are you interested? Oh well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I'll stay here. Why won't you come to Ula Ula? If you're going to now to trial, you should you sh won't you, Cheyenne? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula's letter type trial, the only one on about Route Ten. Well. That was interesting, to say the least. Oh. Let's get out of here. And I believe the sound mixer is perfect right now, because I think, yep, the sound mixer's on, so let's do it. So right now we're heading straight to Route 10. And then we'll head up. Anyway, um, let's see. Since we're playing Pokemon Sun, um, yeah, I hope you guys like the new layout, because, um, I wanted to try, like, trend it up a bit, you know? But yeah, like, new trends going out these days. Ah, don't go there. Do not go there. Okay. I think the Firefire guy has a water, water type, so Azkaban, you are up. You are up, buddy. But yeah, I do have tread bar if I need to go to the rock electric type, so let's go. Hmm. Ridiculous par scene of fire. Firefighter Alex. <laughs> it has the same name as my nephew. But Justin is my oldest nephew, so, you know. He's older than me! He's like 28, going on 29 now. He's my sister's. Old, my oldest sister's son. He was born in 1990. I was born in 95. So, yeah. I may sound like a little kid, but deep down, I'm, I'm tw like, like you down, I'm a woman. I'm a full grown woman, so, yeah. Alright, then we got that done. Um, move with that. Uh, let's see. Another brutal full girl, I think. Let's see, let's see, let's see she has. Does she have, oh, a scent. Steamy? Steamy? Why is there a Steamy? Why do you have a Steamy? Son, I should have brought my favorite Pokemon out, but never mind. I got this. Plop. There, I knew you could do it, buddy. 
So now we're gonna head out through... Since we're at level 35, I guess we can keep up with the Pokemon trends here. I'm gonna put out Trenvar, because I think a police officer has a Growlithe. So Trenvar, you are up, buddy. So I don't- I think they're alert- like, rock types are good against, uh... Electric and Bug, I believe? Or is it Jaws I need to put out for the electric type area? Anyway- Oh! I just saw a little Gasparkly, here you go. I need to find more of these things. Anyway. Ooh! Team Skull, hold on. Gotta face off this guy first. <laughs> he impre he did an impression on this little cock car. It's funny. Oh, uh, Growlithe once again. Uh, let's see. Trenvar, you are a beast, and you should go after him. Huh? Intimidate. I don't think he has any like a rock rock move. So it's he's a special move, I'm guessing. Yep, pretty much again, still the boss. Big Trenbar is the best of my my Pokemon. Well, I love all three of my starters, but Trenbar takes the top because I love I love wolves. So yeah. Now let's see. Um, poison type. Poison type is allergic to ground, so hopefully I got I got uh what was his name Jaws up here. Could talk to him. Huh? What? You ever seen a bus stop go before? Hey, yo! You're trying to steal our bus stop? Find an vest your own, you heard? Team Skull. Jeez, Team Skull is really mean. And really hard to find too. So now we're heading up to the new place. So now Jaws level something, I don't remember, but Dragon Claw seems pretty cool. I know Dragon Claw, I gave him Dragon Claw, but I don't really care. But he's a poison type and I can't take flying types out. So Dragon Claw it is. Let's see what kind of poison type he has again too. I, oh, I defeated him real quick. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and get lost. Yo, homie, gotta fight you and life team skull. Oh, stand up very strong. You won't. You stand up, but not for long, yo. And they always do these poses, like really cool poses, but I can't do their arm movements like what the other guys do when I do here. So this guy has a poison type, I think. Radicate. So it's a yeah, it's a dark type. So I'm gonna get Jaws out here. I think dark types are allergic to some other types around here. I don't know why, but I'm thinking Earth Poop will do the trick. Nice. Oh crap. Well, at least I get to use Earth Quick once again because I think I'm faster than them when they when they get to low health. They're not very fast, I'm guessing. So, uh, let's do it. Team Skull. And we defeated Team Skull right there. Yo, I think it's the drivers, but I can't. Well, if we take this bus stop, then we're all chill. Eh. Oh, well, I'm over this. Let's get moving large. Imagine, huh? Hey, Justin. I'm recording. Look what I did with my layout. Yeah. <laughs> Show you it. Ooh, Professor Kikuri. You go on with Team Skull Punks has ran past me about a duration, yeah? I wish I could challenge the league instead. I'm getting up the real good time. The league? Oh, that's right, you're enough. Just you wait, cousin. First things first. If you want to head up to Mount Look Hanlaki. Hello, Hakalani. <laughs> Can't even say that. We should take the bus. It'll blast us up top, yeah? As quick as a sky uppercut. 
Oh boy. Let's go talk to the bus company. Bus stop here and wait for the bus. Yes. Alright. We're on our way up to the, flat, the part where we need to go. Anyway. And I'm in my fall clothing. <laughs> Over here! Mount Honolaki is the second smallest mountain in Alola, and the tallest? Oh boy. Check it out, Cheyenne. Just sleep in Judd Majestic Peak right over there. That's Mount Lanakina, the highest peak of Alola. The second sacred spot, yeah? The closest duke of a legendary Pokemon of Lola. Sin said to be Sun Incarnate. That's right over right here. The peak of Lana Kila. Is the established for a Pokemon League. Well everybody get to finish their island challenge, yeah, end up the peak of Mount Lana Kila. Battle against the Kahunas to become the island. The Island Challenge Champion. I've always wondered if the traditions where Olola will keep make a champion and the world recognizes. Sometimes the own Elite Four will make our Pokemon League. Think of that. Someday Lola kiddos in Lola will be able to be up be up in their Island Challenge Champion. The world champion. And then, we'll give our own champions, they show the rest of the world what's so special about Lone Pokemon and their trainers, yeah? I guess, Kaiku. Uh, I gotta heal up this stupid Team Skull. Alright, time to heal up. <laughs> Alright, so I think there's a... Reason there's a guy up from that Pokemon area. Let's see. I'll talk to this guy. Uh, bye. Um, I have enough. Yeah, I have enough potions and everything. So I don't think I need any. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a lot of stuff here. Anyway, let's get out of here and get a top in here. Hey Justin, when you went to work yesterday, guess who I caught earlier? I caught a, um, the Interact Aerodos, and I named it Venom, you know? I named, you know, Venom from, uh, Spider-Man. I wanted to name him Spider-Man, but <laughs> I didn't want to, because people probably did that already. So, yeah. And, no, I have a Ta, I have a cat named Ta. <laughs> Well, and Cinnamon named Ta, but you're Gen 1 right? You're always the favorite here, 151. Yeah. Okay. Hey there! Still in that fire up, fire is up as ever, eh, Royal? <laughs> sure, let me introduce you to Moline. He's a... He runs the exhibition here in Max PC Boxes if he's not Hulk Kalani's champion. A captain, oops. I was a captain once, my masked friend. Hey there, Shine, right? Thanks for coming all the way to Mount Kalkalani and visit us. Our captain Sophocles is a very busy man. He's always calculated the past work in between festival pods and things as so determine whether you are qualified to take the trial. I am glad to show you the skills of a trainer who toughened up the lot ventures alongside the Kukui back in the day. Uh oh. Ooh, oh boy, he's really strong, I'm guessing, because he used to be a captain of the trial. <laughs> and I hope Ta will win this. Ooh. He's level 35, but I don't know if he can make it through. Oh boy. Oh, Metal Claw, really? That's not that bad. Aw, oh, crap, I didn't know he had sturdy. <laughs> 
Well, at least I can go first, I think. Oh, no. Never mind. Super mode. Eh. Yeah. Meanie. Hopefully, Flamethrower will finish it off. Eric Potter? Really? He's not even a fighting type. He's a dark type. So now we got all Pokemon. Ooh, Trida's level 36. The trio. Uh, I'm gonna keep him out because I think it's a yeah, it's a steel type and a ground type. Yeah. It's not gonna work, buddy. So flamethrower to your butt, after to your hair, and burn it off. All right, 36. That's good. No moves yet, huh? Oh, shoot. Matang. Uh, it's like Metagross and Matang. We all the Matang and Metagross, yeah. Matang has a previous form of the uh, Pokemon Metagross. I did get a shiny once when I was playing the original character of mine, but didn't put it in the Pokemon bank. So it's stuck out in the abyss forever. Or in the void, I should say. Won't be able to come back. Shoot, I should have, I should have kept my my Pokemon Ultra Ultra Moon, no Ultra, not Ultra Moon, but uh, Pokemon a Mega Ruby and Apple Sapphire, because those had my their, the mystery gift of them, but I forgot to put them back into the uh, to the box because I was stupid back then. Anyway, <sighs> well, well, you certainly see qualified to take on the trial. Yeah, I think he's even stronger than we are on the island challenge. Hey, one more thing, cousin. My name's Goku. What is this mass royalty talking about? Alright, cousin. Head back to Bailey Garden. I'll figure out how we're eating all stuff by now, eh? I'll make sure he'll get up here, too. That guy's a deserve it, my old buddy. Welcome to Observation, Cheyenne. Observatory, Cheyenne. Well, we're going to do the next episode will be um, about the Island Challenge Pokemon here. So, I hope you guys see you guys all next time in the next episode of Pokemon Sun. See you then.